with pencil, chalk, ruler, drawing board, and models. He designed Norway. The New York Times described him as the architect of modern Nordic form. He quoted, When I build on a site in nature that is totally unspoiled, it is a fight, an attack by our culture on nature. In this confrontation, I strive to make a building that will make people more aware of the beauty of the setting. He is Sararofen. He was born in 1924, and he received his architectural education in Oslo right after World War II. He worked as an architect for 60 years and an outstanding lecturer for a wild generation of students at Yale in Oslo. In his life, Anne Cosmo, his teacher, played a very important role to be one of his important influence in his architectural career. During his trip to Morocco, in 1952-53, he encountered the elemental architecture that would help him to set the tone for his further development as well. He said, When I went to Morocco, it was not to discover new things, but to recollect what was forgotten. He created his own singular individuality and originality through different sources of inspiration from other great architects too. Museum shows datum organization. It organizes a random pattern of elements through its regularity, continuity, and constant presence. Beams and columns have been used throughout the building. Post and lintels technique is largely used in the construction of the wood beams and columns of the museum. Linear members possess the necessary material strength can provide the support for the overhead plane. Pass-through spaces in network configuration is the path-space relationship of Headmark Museum circulation system. The Nordic Pavilion is a simple cuboidal space, but its structures are mostly planar. Rectangle being the variation of the square adheres to several firms' pursuit of rational architecture. The cuboid volume has an additive transformation, which is a trapezoid staircase attached to the side of the pavilion to provide vertical movement up the slope in which the pavilion was built into. The boundaries between inside and outside become obscure. The building circulation is a simple entrance, made of large glass planes. Also, the pavilion mainly consists of horizontal elements, with trees within the building being the only sense of verticality. The architectural composition of Glacier Museum is bilateral, symmetry and balance. It possesses a balanced arrangement of equivalent elements on opposite sides of a median axis. The form of Glacier Museum differed in geometry to inflect a space toward a specific feature of the building site. This tells the story of the glaciers that created the fjords and becoming a rock left behind in the meadow. One similarity of these buildings is their construction. They never touches the original site, but construct the building to bring out the beauty of the setting. They also have similar materiality, namely concrete and natural materials with earthly colors. Variation of sizes is a difference between the buildings, from very large scale museums to very small scale pavilion. Ordering principle also varies between the buildings. The Glacier Museum have a symmetrical ordering principle as the plan is arranged in equivalent forms and spaces. The Heimark Museum differs by having a datum ordering. The small-scale Nordic Pavilion, however, has a rhythm ordering due to its repetitive elements of concrete beams at regular intervals. Villa Bus, which is located in Bamba, was designed by Sir Werofen in 1989. This private residence is typical of his buildings in their relation to site, strong materiality and blend of modernity and regionalism. 
Villa Bus is adjacent to a valley that runs to the nearby Oslo Fjord, to the south and the west. The linear house broken with a tower and a storage shed describe that main theme of the house and friends work in general. The strength of nature and man's subordination to nature. The rough quality of the concrete walls give the house an illusion of rising from the earth, while the warm wood texture of the house giving the space their domestic skill and intimate nature. The solid characteristic of the house gave us a great spatial experiment. It helps the game of the transparent or massive surfaces and the playing with the outside and inside space. Sarayafran so did an extraordinary unique house with a special floor plan, which we can call linear type. The environment, the uses of material and the design of both exterior and interior made this house a listed building. This used to be where we put our umbrellas, met our neighbour, or kiss the girl we had followed home. Today we have to say goodbye in the rain. He works no longer, but his life work remains. This is Norwegian Architect.